Hi everyone, here's Simone. This is the first tutorial of this new year and uh, so happy new year to all of you and uh, yeah today we're gonna actually make uh, um, we will actually go and go deep analyzing the spring shop and all the things you can do uh, I have some example here ready to go um, for example we can have instances that react uh, as there's like kind of physics behind it. you see the cube are stopping and hurting one to another that's pretty neat and uh, or having other uh, I don't know particles particle fluid things or uh, uh, displacing uh, images with UV uh, I want to say thank you to Paqueta because I saw this video attracted attract in UV space in touch desire and uh, I thought that there's a like a less complicated way to do it uh, and actually the spring shop is really good it's not the same of course which is more like a fake liquid animation uh, compared to what Paqueta did but I was inspired and I want to say thank you if he will ever hurt me and say <laughs> Uh, something um okay so let's start from scratch mm -mm. take out the power and we go here and we actually destroy everything and we start uh, with a grid shop and we want to make some points like 50 50 it's okay um <clears throat> then we want to create a group shop Okay, and we want to take the point. We want to group the entity of the group in the point, and then we want to make the grid bigger, like double the size of the grid, because uh, it's faster for us to identify the point we need. So, because the grid now is two, I can say something like that. This is fair. And then, as you can see, let's zoom. Here we have um, blue, and this is yellow. Means there's we are getting some point, and some other no, some other are not inside of the group. And this is fine because we will create another group. So the first one will say move another yellow, and then we want to create another group by combining the group. So this will be fixed, and we say what is not in group move right so now we are actually having we, we are having the two group in the price of one um, and we can use the spring shop properly so we drop the spring shop and you see something is happening uh, we go to the node page and we select the fixed group as you can see it's doing something uh, we want to say uh, that we want to have accurate move, of course. And then uh, we, so if I know you will explore it with some other uh, shop, uh, so, and I can tell you that this uh, hoax law works better if you have a 3D object like a sphere. Okay. Uh, for a fake fluid animation, a uh, normalized displacement is what you're looking for, I believe. And then we can add some forces by going in the forces page and typing some small numbers here in the turbulence. As you can see, something is happening. And then we're gonna also uh, make the turbulence uh, a bit more um, intricate. And then we wanna uh, the, the actual trick that make the fluid uh, is here. So. By changing the seed uh, forever, kind of, uh, you have this. So again, node needs to have a fixed point group that we create here. And uh, <clears throat> normalized displacement is better for uh, a fake fluid animation. And then uh, he, the, the, the trick is here. 
Yeah. But if you change the the seed, then the this guy move. Nice. Uh, because we are in shop world, we can now use uh, the other two input like collision, maybe or force. We will use force now. So let's take a metabol. Metabol is like a sphere, but is meant to work uh, and uh, have some other attribute that are well. You know, they, they work good in combination with the force operator, and we connect it in the third input that is input number two of the spring shop and uh, now by actually activating the radial force you can see that it's doing something look at that okay uh, i noticed that uh, to have uh, something that is uh, usable uh, is a good number okay uh, as I said, uh, the metabol is what is driving, uh, driving the force, so uh, we have to make it a bit smaller. Like that. Something like this. Okay, so now uh, let's split the view left to right and uh, change the paint type to geometry and display this guy and the metabol so we can have a preview of what we're doing so as you can see now if i move the metabol ta -ta -ta -ta, we are moving things okay it's fast it's really fast i mean half me second but if we can we can crack up the number here like 100 and 100 so now i believe it's like two milliseconds and yeah i'm on a i7 on a laptop so uh, i don't know uh, but yeah i mean you can use it it's fair enough uh, yeah so now the simulation is even better okay really nice okay so uh, you can also render this one put a pbr make it like gold and we have a goldy see things but now we want to actually uh, analyze the data okay how you can analyze the the data and then have it uh, like that you can work with that with distances uh, and uh, maybe make of this fake uv that we were speaking mm. We have to use a component that I made, it's called unwrapper component, the link is in the video description, and this is the new version actually. So we plug it here, and uh, we are having uh, the two top, one for position, and one for normals. Nice! Okay? Uh, this is already really good but we have to set up this guy first so uh, as you remember this is two and we want to have it one so because we need to go to zero one okay so back um, so now it's scaled properly change this change that so uh, what it remind you it remind you uh, uh, to a uv coordinate to some UV coordinate. So uh, it's easy to understand that now we have the zero point in the middle, okay, and uh, then you go in the other for direction. This is actually wrong because we need to go zero to one. So we can actually move this 0 0.5, 0 0.5, and now the zero is on the left bottom, and it's what we want, as you can see here. And also we have we are normalizing the, the normals okay we have to color um, okay so let's now test what we are to create here ah, just a little look it's a fake render with a fonger uh, you see there's no light now since so it's a fake render it's fake because we are actually not uh, displaying the image uh, we have two render buffer the render buffer are uh, you have to set it up here 
yeah, here. And uh, one is putting out the normals and the point position as a command the normals. You can define it here in the advanced page of the phone. Workspace pause and the space normal. Okay, fair enough. Uh, so with the uh, point position, it's UV, okay, but those are fancy UV. Um, because they have the they came they come from the spring shop okay so we can just remap okay and uh, input image like banana like this okay um mm -mm 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 -mm. let's make something else so okay so, and uh, let's actually make an interaction so i'm gonna steal it from you what's this one Ta -ta -ta. look at this look at here this is for the interaction okay and now we are interacting with nothing because we need to do nothing but at least it's uh we have already and the actually trick here it's uh it's nothing special it's a circle put above the image it's where i'm taking the mouse okay the, the mouse data okay so we go we copy and this is a select shop we bring it here to the metaball okay and um one level above here we go so uh, i'm taking it from the td devices mouse so if we just do like this we take this guy okay we split the view we drop it here Ta -ta -ta -ta. okay so i mean the brain of touch designer sis td resources device you can also have it here i believe that's a copy it's a clone yes yeah, so td resources and then uh, here we have a bunch of stuff i'm not gonna explain now but there's also the mouse and those position of the mouse are normalized uh, compared to the uh, resolution and blah 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 so they are good value to use and you don't have to think about it derivative already did so uh, we can now take this guy and we can export job and export job and as you can see now we are doing things with the force um, uh, we can now take for example the middle button okay drop it here in the weight go for python and multiply this for three so each time we actually move we actually click the middle mouse button we are having uh, the effect right you can also see and have like a preview here of what we are doing in the spring shop okay uh, if you can see now we are we are in the top world okay and sometimes we are actually uh, destroying a bit the image too much so we can avoid that or maybe just to change uh, this instead of three we put two maybe you know yeah, okay it's a bit better but uh, what if you want to have a smoother uh, things uh, or an other things uh, so for a smoother we can just put a blur here And then uh, you will have uh, a soft and result. As you can see, also change a bit the shape. Okay. Uh, this is uh, by using a blur. Or if you want to like to have something different, uh, we can just say that we wanna <coughs> actually take only the. Uh, the two part of this uh, vec4 okay and uh, so okay so we have those uv and uh, they are like a bit of uh, okay so strange um we can actually add those Okay, something like that. I don't know if it's properly done. I need to check it out. So yeah, we can have 
مورا كراشي برزالز بالذات باش ماشي بالذات سو يا ذيس از هاو وي بلاي راوند وي ذا سبرينغ شوب اند وي سو اوكي ذيس بي ا بيت مور لونغ ليتس بوت ذيس 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 اند ذيس 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 So now talk to what we want. Um, let's go forward with this one and let's create a particle system. So uh, set it up fast, uh, add SOP, uh, convert it to uh, particle per point, uh, render it as point sprite, uh, make put this inside of a geo and go in the instance page uh, one and take uh, the position we have here and make distance here okay rgb mm -hmm. then uh, we want actually uh, apply the right material we select before in the shop and uh, we want to render it so the camera and yeah as you can see it's here and uh, it's not supposed to be there because actually we can uh, preform it uh, and put it in the middle like something like this should be nice no so it's plus compile it's compile and compile right Okay, so now it's centered and uh, I did it in the preform page so now it's centered to our uh, camera and we can scale it a bit and we need to move it so this is for nothing for part because it's not in a square resolution but anyway uh, as you can see here we create the particle system pretty cool interrupt models Here we go. Uh, yeah. So hope you find this tutorial useful. Uh, and uh, if you have question, please leave a comment. Uh, if I have time, I will reply. Uh, I wish you a good start of the year. Ciao.